I'm Brian Pollard, staff anesthesiologist at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto and associate professor in the Department of Anesthesia at the University of Toronto. A large part of what I do in my practice is teaching regional anesthesia to residents and fellows and part of the challenge across all physicians is trying to determine where the needle is going to go uh, once the ultrasound anatomical image has been established. The goal of the GPS technology is clearly to improve patient outcomes with respect to block success as well as reducing potential morbidity and optimizing safety. There's a certain amount of confidence that one has when you see the trajectory to be taken and as you advance the needle you see that that track is being followed directly on screen until you reach your destination uh, at which point you confirm with your normal endpoints uh, as to where your needle tip is and with injection on screen you see that you have in fact put the needle where the GPS guidance system says it is located. We've been using uh, this technology routinely in the perioperative setting uh, for numerous patients involving upper, lower extremity, uh, abdominal wall blocks, as well as for the placement of a central line in the operating room. In the past, the ability to use an out-of-plane technique was limited by only seeing a component of the needle that traversed the plane of the ultrasound uh, beam. With the use of GPS and the sensing we know exactly at which point the true tip of the needle is in the beam plane rather than being beyond the beam plane and only capturing a component of the shaft. What has been rewarding and fairly consistent across my use of uh, GPS in the teaching environment is the number of clinicians, both junior and senior, who are quite taken by the power of the GPS to convey the sense of needle localization on screen both before you enter the tissues and once you achieve the exact plane at which you want to stop and either inject your local anesthetic or pass a guide wire for central venous cannulation. However, the greatest realization that you get in time is that it's very hard to go back when you see the results that you get using ultrasound and now particularly with the GPS component added to it. Uh, the confidence you have in placing your needle where you want it to be, uh, both towards improving patient outcomes in terms of block efficacy, as well as potentially improving patient outcomes with respect to the safety of the regional anesthesia being carried out, uh, both are additive in my mind as only moving forward with regional anesthesia practice uh, into a place that as you perform more blocks using the technology, you become more comfortable and it becomes something at this point that I would not perform a regional anesthetic block without. What's unique about this handbook is that it addresses the key features of both ultrasound and needle skills, but now brings the newest innovation in ultrasound in terms of GPS technology to the forefront.